Throughout life, you'll encounter situations to evaluate and problems to solve. Right now, many of these are probably academic. Maybe you need to find evidence to support a thesis in a research paper. Some situations also may be personal. Maybe you want to save money to buy a car and you need to create a budget. Later on, you'll encounter problems to solve in your professional life. Should you choose a job with a higher salary or one that's more interesting to you? Approaching these types of situations requires an inquiry-based mindset. Inquiring involves asking questions, remaining open to possibilities, and testing and learning through experience. Instead of hoping that the perfect solution will appear, inquiry empowers you to take charge of your own learning and discovery through asking questions. Taking an inquiry-based approach also means being open to adapting based on new knowledge and experiences. So how does this work? Let's take our thesis example. You may begin your research with one idea for an argument. After consulting multiple sources and revisiting your original plan, you realize that your viewpoint has changed since you began your research. You may be worried and inclined to disregard or downplay the sources that caused you to question your initial argument. But if you consider research as inquiry, you'll see it's a good thing to raise questions about your original thesis. Research means asking yourself and your sources a lot of questions, not taking a straight path to a single correct answer. Those questions might lead you down a path you didn't expect to take, but that direction can bring you to more interesting and useful discoveries. Information from books, websites, journals, and other sources can help you make decisions and solve problems. But your mind can't determine what pieces of this information you require unless you figure out what you need to know. Don't be afraid to also interact with others. Talking to teachers and peers and getting their feedback can help guide your own inquiry process. Before you enter a new situation, you probably prepare for what you'll encounter in many ways. If you're starting a new year in school, you'll need to buy books, school supplies, and maybe even new clothes. If you're beginning a new research project, you'll need to read over your assignment sheet, establish a calendar of deadlines, or maybe make an appointment with a tutor. Whatever you're about to embark on, you should be prepared to learn new things. And to do that, you need to keep an open mind. To be open-minded, practice listening to viewpoints that vary from yours and be respectful of others' differing views. Also be willing to actively explore new ideas and question your own assumptions. If you remember these points in new situations, you'll find yourself able to engage with multiple perspectives and ideas. For instance, if you are researching a new elective to take, this might mean speaking to your guidance counselor or classmates, or reading through your class offerings in a course catalog. Seek out sources offering viewpoints that may be unfamiliar to you. Being open-minded doesn't mean you have to change everything you are interested in or believe in, but it does mean you'll explore fresh possibilities that can inform and adjust your understanding.